Welcome back, everybody. Ooh, it's so lovely to be in this damn fucking game, man. It's giving me diabetes. No offense to people with diabetes. They're all struggling, and we have to at least, you know, understand or be sympathetic to those who are, you know, aren't so lucky in the being born card. But yeah, thank you for clicking on this video. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not, watch this video up to the end or my other videos. As, I, as I've said, you've got the choice, everybody. If you don't want to watch a video or you can just dislike it real quick, you know, or like it or comment. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. Let's get in in there. She's standing right the fuck behind me. Ah. Oh. Ah, she's behind me. Oh my god. We're holding hands. What's happening? Her body rests against my back and her arms come around, each of her hands taking my own and guiding them into the proper position. Ah! Uh, Annan, are you paying attention? Uh, yeah, totally. I hope my voice didn't just crack. Fang's hand, hands, Fang's hands move mine along the, necks of the, the neck of the guitar. Alright, try these chords. Her fingers press mine down, holding down the strings in an awkward position. Then this. My hands are slid down closer to the base of the neck and too close to my crotch. And then finally this. My fingers are shifted back up to the middle of the fretboard. Try that out, Annan. Fang lets go of my sweaty hand. She doesn't move from behind me though. I try and replicate the movements. The first drum sounds not bad. The second note is horrendous, I blame my pants. And the last chord comes out all rightish. Now do it all together. I repeat the pattern and it comes out all sounding all rightish. Again. Oh hey, that didn't sound too bad now. You're getting it now. Am I? I have no clue what these chords are. I keep strumming each time progressively sounding better and better. Now try playing chords of your own. My own? I thought you were showing me how to play a song. I'm teaching you how to play guitar, you dork. I reposition my fingers and try something new, producing several more horrid sounds from the instrument. My pinky sides of the fretboard and when I strum again, a strange look appears in Fang's eyes. Oh, what the hell, man? Oh my god, this is giving me- Oh my god, what the fuck? Comment down below, which one of this are you gonna pick? I'm saving. Sleepy, you're gonna save every damn option? Yes. Wow, that was really pretty. Really? Pretty shit. <laughs> wow, you suck at this. Hmm, interesting. Keep going. That's really good. Don't stop, you idiot. Keep going. Oh, come on now. Impress me. Nah, that's not... Okay, play something random. I like this. Play that one again for me, will you? I oblige and repeat notes several times. Fang's tail starts wagging along with my strumming, turning into a usual metronome. Wait. She takes the guitar from me and sits on the edge of her bed, toying with the chord that was strumming. I... I think I figured that song out, Annan. Her tail slaps a simple beat on her mattress as she slowly builds up her rhythm in her strumming. Her head bob her head her head bobs along, wings relaxing as the guitar's tone starts picking up. The song born from the guitar was mesmerizing. It started soft with gentle tumbling tumbling tri trills, a slow jam at first, but eventually it grew into something more. The crescendo crossing the strings reshaped the music. The transformation into a weightier rock piece was seamless. More than just fingers and a pick, it was as if Fang put her entire life's effort into this. Thinking back, she must have made countless songs like this, most of them never heard by anyone and left forgotten. She soon started to hum with the song she was playing, harmony and mel melancholy blending with the melody. As Fang poured her very being into that instrument in her hands, it dawned on me what this was. A lyricless ballad, or ballad, ballad, a ballad of sorts, an instrumental Area or aria, musical notes that bore the weight of words she couldn't define. All of which sounded beautiful, melding together into a harsh yet intoxicating piece of dissonant serenity. Eventually, she started to dim in window the fading softness of strings and harshness in her humming as she slowly laid the guitar to rest. I think Annan isn't really is not good at is good at theory. 
Like he uh, he knows these like actual words and their meaning and what they sound like. Is it diminishing? Is it going up? Is it you know? Is it raising? Uh, what what are the sounds? You know. But when it comes to applying them, he can't really do it. The music had stopped, but her own emotions were were on. Fang sat there looking down at the guitar, realizing she showed me something she had never shown anyone before. Fang bit back tears, fighting the sob that threatened to spill from her. She sets her guitar down and slouches, rubbing her eyes and trying to repress her inner turmoil. In instinct pushes me to my feet, carrying me forward to the vulnerable girl sat in plush duvets. All that matters is her. The part of me that felt scared of that thought that wanted to remain isolated in my comfort zone. That wanted to pretend that no one else mattered. Oh my god, it's like me, for real, for real. The part was ejected forcibly. Fang gas as I wrap my arms around her. Uh, Annan, the, frail the frailty of her voice makes my heart ache. The song was amazing, Fang. It truly was, because it was her. Her heart and soul were carried within it, her very being. My heart felt words reach her. The damn burst. She felt like a porcelain doll in my arms, tears of sorrow and rel relief stained my shirt and wet my chest. Th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like the rooftop fang's voice was a weak I like the rooftop fang's voice was a weak mumble broken by hiccups and uneasy breaths. My embrace is soft as I cradle her, soothing her with slow rocking. We stayed like this, my arms calming the fragile and spent girl. I have no clue how long it lasts, but Fang is able to compose herself with time. I let her move away, choosing to sit next to her on the soft mattress. Her eyes are puffy and red, and once again her makeup has left tracks of orange and black on her cheeks. And once again, she shares with me that smile. But this time I can tell exactly what that soft expression means. Relief. God, Annan, that's twice now. My bad, how are you feeling? I don't know. She looks down at the guitar, she sets aside. I lean over her lap, carefully taking the instrument by its neck and bring it to my lap. Can you teach me? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. the song, can you teach it to me? She looks at the guitar and then me. Her surprise slowly turns to happiness. Sure I can, hold up a second. She stands from the bed and goes for another one of her guitars. Along the way, she grabs the shirt of the floor, using it to wipe her face. When she comes back, Fang sits closer than before, our shoulders together. Aww. So for the opener. After what feels like hours of back and forth to learn guitar, my arms feel like they're about to fall off. Fang is an unexpectedly patient music teacher. She ends up correcting the same mistakes I make over and over with little more than dweeb. Aww. I ended up calling it- I keep saying aww, I know, it's, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit, uh, repetitive, but it is what it is, you know? What the fuck you gonna do, huh? Click on the- click off this video and find my IP address and kill me? I ended up calling it quits halfway through the 28th practice song. Also, don't do that. I'm begging you. By that point, my acoustic screeching turned to something that resembles actual music. You're no stego slash, but... Not half bad for one lesson. I'll take it. I fucking suck creatively. Do you? You made that railgun way back when. Ah, that. That was just something I read online. Still managed to make it. Yeah, but that had like instructions and shit. Anything that needs imagination, it's like I'm an epileptic with Down Syndrome. Pff, what about your wordplay? Not telling her about my shitposting needs. That's the best I can do, I guess. Hmm. Fang's fingers trace along the strings of her waiting guitar. How about a jam session? J -j -j jam session? Not that kind of jam session. Fuck. So what's the whole pirate princess thing about? He doesn't have a candle, so I'll be fine. A guitar pick bounces off my eye. Gah! I told you not to mention that. I know, I know, sorry, jeez. But really though, what was the deal with that? It's just something that I did sometimes. What, play pretend? All kids do that. Yeah, but I mean, this was a bit different. When I pretended, the world seemed so much better. So I'd end up doing it for months at a time. Years even. But that's all over now? Yeah, just embarrassing memories. Sometimes I do miss it though, because honestly when we, were, when we were kids, when you look at the childish cartoons, it always painted the world as something brighter, something much, I don't know, something good. It was, it was, the world we live in is a really good place, you know? 
But now, once you grow up, reality hits hard and it's a bit grayer than... It's not just white. It's not just black. But it's a bit in the middle. It's gray. And mostly, there are times where the the dark stuff of, this, of the world is a bit more apparent than the good stuff. Okay, remove the dark shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go back to the game. Being someone new, trying to figure everything out again. Fang wasn't Fang. Hmm. Anyways, go ahead and just try playing. She reaches over and plucks a string on the guitar I'm holding. Just whatever comes to mind? Yeah, just try and play whatever. And then, all hell broke loose. What the hell are you doing here, Annan? Yep. That's me. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. Well, you see, it all started with me here, in the girls, uh, in the girl I like. I like in the girl I likes, you know, room. I was learning to play guitar, maybe even getting a little good at it. Then, right out of nowhere, nowhere, I tell you, the scariest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life shows up. Yep, you guessed it. It's that. It's the lady's dad. No warning or anything, and he brought his murder weapon. My life flashes before me and my first thought is God, my life sucks. The fang bits were pretty cool, I guess. I at least hope someone deleted my browser his history. Anyways, back to the show. Out now! It takes all my strength to prevent my bladder from doing its best Stella impression right about now. I silently head to the door with Judge Dredd to my back, catching a sympathetic glance from Fang on the way out. Walking out the front door, I feel my heart stop as his talon-like nails begin to dig into my shoulder. At that moment, I learned a very important lesson. Tarot claws hurt like crap, man. The next time I catch you alone with my daughter, I will use her head as a Rubik's Cube. He gives me a shove of the porch and I hear the door slam behind me. I can hear her father, father's raised voice from here. Sheesh, guy needs like all the chill pills. Or maybe some carfee. <laughs> God damn it, Reed. Yeah, Reed is rubbing off on us. Rubbing off, huh? I turn away from the luxurious home and walk down the pathway to the sidewalk. Well, man experienced getting chased out of uh, his GF's house. Shit, and things were getting... Getting... Oh, I don't know. But like after Fang's song, she was... Fucking hell, why are emotions so fucking difficult? As I wait at the bus stop, I decide to break down everything that happened. Okay. We didn't study at all. Well, maybe music, I guess. Raptor Jesus, Mr. Jingo is a shit teacher compared to her. But really, all I can think about is how she was after the song. Or after that song, sorry. I saw something. Something... How do I fucking contextualize it? That's a good question. How do we describe that? In the moment, I thought I knew. Holding her in my arms... Bzz, bzz. A text? Shit, that's rare. Fang. Hey! About er earlier. Thanks. For like hanging out. And sorry about dad. There was a pause. The animated ellipses showing Fang was writing something longer. About the song. I wanna work on some lyrics for it. So like how about we hang out again and write some? I consider my response thoroughly. Sure. <laughs> it is what it is. Sometimes... You know what's funny? Sometimes we try to write it in a notepad or I don't know if some other people do that. Comment down below if you do that if you're not. I'm gonna take uh, I overthink shit, right? I try to reply to someone. I give them a long, 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 long sentence. Not in the actual chat or messenger. Because then it would show that I'm typing really, 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 really long because it shows. I'll do it in a notepad or some other shit. Maybe Word or some other shit as I said. As I've said. Um, and then once it sticks, I'm like... Nah, it's too long. It's too detailed. It feels like I'm writing a damn essay. I'm gonna just reply K. Okay, sure. Nah. Okay, going back to the game. Another session like that? I think of Fang standing behind me, guiding my hands again. My cheeks warm as I recall the feeling of her hands over mine. Fuck. I wonder. How does she feel about me? I mean, she's shown me so much of her now. And all the cheek nuzzling? That's like Nazer now me. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know, man. Relationships are hard. You can't just jump the gun. 
Because you might be a creep. You might be jumping the gun and it would fuck the relationship immediately. It would destroy the whole damn bridge you built. Two weeks later. I'm looking over my final grades for this semester. My science score is barely passing. I want to say it's because of Fang and mine's study sessions. Every time we would try to study, it would always become jam sessions or lyrics, lyric writings. Spending more and more time with her was fun. And seeing this side of her, it makes me feel so lightheaded, like I'm floating on clouds. Oh man, this guy, this guy is on cloud nine. He's a freaking I'm sorry. Although the sheet rope escapes from Fang's dad, we're starting to leave Sears rug burns on my palms. As a bonus, I aced music class. The midterm was a demonstration. And the fact that I was able to play guitar, even shittily, was enough. Fang seemed proud of the fact that I, uh, that I was able to play well enough to get a passing grade. Or rather proud of herself that she was that good of a music teacher. Her way of congratulating me was to hip check me right into my locker only to apologize while laughing her ass off. Actually the whole ordeal made me remember I had this old music program installed on my computer. It's incredibly outdated but free is free, you know? Several hours of decade old tutorials later I finally started cobbling together a loosely musical sounding rhythm. I couldn't find a reverb option so I just overlaid the same instruments with a lower volume where I wanted it. People probably won't notice. I'm starting to get why Feng likes doing this sort of thing. It's sort of like just the act of creating something and being able to say, I made this. Exploring the file and uploading it to a music site, I await my audience to start amassing before me. See, I already have a comment. Never make anything again ever. Ah, just a day in the life of an underappreciated artist. End of midterms means the start of a new quarter. I think it's cool when you make something. Even if it's a website or you, pro pro you program an application or a simple algorithm. An algorithm, pretty much. That's pretty much generally speaking like, what, 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 what did you make? A calculator? Uh, a cool RPG text game or something? I don't know. You could probably say, nope, I made something. Yes, it's not the best. Yes, I ain't no genius. I'm not the next uh, whiz in programming. Not the creator of Python. Not the creator of any other shit like that. That I made this. This is my creation right here. Especially if we put effort. Even if it's shit. It's different. Halfway through the semester and things have been going pretty good. I didn't completely fuck up so far and I think the rest of the band is starting to warm up to me. Especially Fang. In fact, we've been hanging out more in the auditorium after school. Instead of band practice, we've been making use of that repaired projector. Watching shitty movies and playing games on Reed's x rocks Why are you so deep in thought, Annan? Oh god. The Mandarin Manchurian rips me away from my monologue. During homeroom, Spears came on the announcement to declare an assembly for the senior class. Or in his own words, ASSES IN THOSE SEATS NOW! Naomi has taken the opportunity to walk with me through the hallways. What do you want? So I heard you and Fang went on another date the other day. Oh my god, how does she- Of course she knows, she knows everything. She's a skeever here, huh? Of course she did. It wasn't a date, we were just hanging out. Just kicking Reed's ass in Rock Ring 3. Please give Mammoth bone um, armor. You do anything fun with Nazer lately? Oh my, Nazer just had another track meet. That always works. His high jump form is so perfect. And he looks so dazzling in his track and field uniform. And his physique. I tune her out as she covers her profusely red nose. The less I can think of Nazer's body, the better. We get to the auditorium once again and I look at I look to the back row to find our spot. Empty? Over here, Annan. Fang and Trish are sitting in the front row. Next to them is Reed huddling behind a cart with a projector it fixed on it. It fixed on it. Messing with the cords. What's the deal? Why are we sitting in the front all of a sudden? Uh Spears asked me to man the projector. First I was like, say what? But then I was like, yeah man, sure. So here I am. I see. I take my seat next to Fang. Someone's fucking jelly. I get it. I'm stealing your friend. I get it. I've I've been in that scenario. I've also been in the scenario where my friend gets stolen. You know, when somebody butts in and 10 years, 20 years, 50 fucking thousands of years of friendship just gone throughout the damn door. 
but then you just remember oh wait i'm overthinking things no we're just chill you know you just i can't i can't be obsessive we can't be possessive people unless they're partner partners when i mean partners i mean partners for life you know what i'm talking about that kind of relationship you know are really really possessive they can't share time and that you're, you, th you didn't think to yourself man i thought i was bad never mind I guess I got better. <laughs> they say why? They say why? Why we're here yet? Nope. Since we're seniors, it's probably some other stupid pep talk about our futures. I bet it's a fundraiser. I'm like good at selling things and stuff. I'm sh I'm sure. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. What exactly is Carfe? You don't know, man. Carfentanil, the wildest stuff a dino can get. Really now. It was used in war by skinnies a while back. It's a deadly tranquilizing, tranquilizing agent. Tranquilizing. Tranquil. Tranquilizing. It's only deadly when you make it wrong, man. But yeah, it's great stuff if you know how to do it. Fang, have you ever tried any? Once? Walked up hanging upside down from a tree with Naomi's clothes on hugging a fake... Clothes on hugging a fake skeleton. See? When I do it, it just makes me a bit dizzy for a few hours. Huh. Can I see some? Absolutely not. No. Why not? That stuff's a hundred times more powerful than horse tranquilizer. It didn't melt your skin. Make your heart burst. I heard a human tried it once and exploded. I bet. Yeah, 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 sure. You just don't want to share. The last of the seniors trickle in and take seats near front. Eventually, Spears takes, takes the stage. He pauses to make sure everyone's covering their ears before beginning. Alright! As you all know, graduation's coming up soon. We're going to go over that whole process. But first, the student council has a brief presentation to give on the subject. Floor is all yours, Tuco. Oh my god. Spears gestures his hands over his Naomi and Nazer who show up from behind the stage curtains. The Chiffon Savi. The Chief and Zarina brings a wireless microphone to her snout. She begins reciting a well rehearsed speech in her usual snooty <laughs> manner. More plastic than person. Why, thank you, Principal Spears! The projector comes to life, displaying a basic slideshow title card reading. Read, how do you know when to move it forward? It's when she crosses her fingers. Check it out. Now, this is a very important. Now, this is a very important turning point in your life. Ah, got it. It's one of those. I needed a nap. As soon as I closed my eyes, I felt a malevolent force looming before me. Somehow, I felt like opening my eyes was a bad idea. But keeping them closed was an even worse one. What the fuck am I looking at? At least there's a cute little, de at least there's cute little designs on the slides. There's a little penguin with a graduation cap. There's a school mascot in a party hat. Even has the fogged up window you line up a various graduates with a token human at the end for diversity typical there's some scientists and engineers holding hands and there's a triceratops holding into a branch with the text hang in there babe hang in there baby there's me two years ago when i photoshopped myself with an anime girl wait a fucking minute why is that there What the fuck? Yo! Yo, you can't do this to my man, to my man Anon. This is fucked up. This is gonna make him regress. You know, this stuff traumatizes a human, per a being, a person. Their growth will stop. Trauma fucks up people, everybody. If you're not physically ill, you're mentally ill. Get with it. How? Why? The world stopped turning. No one around me is moving. There's no sound at all. Why is that here? How? I deleted everything, everything! So why the fuck is it here? My body feels like stone as I try to turn, to see if anyone else is seeing this. In the end, I can't bring myself to move at all. It doesn't matter, I already feel their endless gazes. I feel lightheaded. There, there is what feels like a lump of lead in the pit of my stomach. There's dark spots for, forming in my sight. When I finally breathe again, the world starts. The laughter hits first, and monsters guffaw from behind as joined by every other senior in the room. Read, change the slide, change it now. I, I am. More pictures. How did this get here? No, I'm, I'm conf- Oh my god, this is fucked up. 
this is giving me secondhand embarrassment but i also know the situation where you get embarrassed humiliated in front of a damn school well it doesn't happen to me but you know that just imagine if you've been humiliated once in a small room of people what what imagine that a hundred times worse when you're in the group of when you're in the auditorium when you're in the stage each one more and more embarrassing than the last i oh god shit there's a loud crash in oh Nazer, my bro Listen, he had to do it, man. I don't give a fuck if he destroyed the projector. There's a loud crash right next to me. The entire room becomes black. Did I faint? Is this real life? Or is this just fantasy? Anon? Still awake. Fuck. The lights come back on and my eyes burn. No, <laughs> my boy! How could you do this to him? Who did this? I should find him and kill him. How did this even get here? Trish? Oh my fuck. That motherfucker. That purple Barney bitch dinosaur. Riss. How dare they or she? I don't know. What do they. What, what does she identify? I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh my god. I'm ending this video right here. If you felt cringe, comment down below. Because god damn, that was awful. I, 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 somebody delete this. Thank you for watching everybody. I'm seeing you out. Good night. Sweet dreams for hopefully.